हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू पार्ट टू ऑफ गेट 2018 मैकेनिकल मेटलर्जी सॉल्यूशन द फोर्थ क्वेश्चन इज डिटरमाइन द करेक्टनेस और अदरवाइज ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एसर्शन एंड द रीजन सो बेसिकली इट्स एसर्शन एंड रीजन टाइप सो एसर्शन इज फॉर अ मटेरियल एग्जिबिटिंग कोवल क्रीप अ रिडक्शन इन ग्रेन साइज रिजल्ट्स इन अ सिग्निफिकेंट इंक्रीज इन क्रीप रेट सो इन कोवल क्रीप सिंस इट टेक्स प्लेस एट लोअर टेम्परेचर एंड we know the expression for the strain rate in cobalt creep that is e it, it is inversely proportional to the diameter of the grain and this follows a equation which i would like to say you yeah so this follows equation with d to the power of 3 so strain rate increases if we decrease the grain size so here it is written that a reduction in grain size results in significant increase increase in creep rate so it is absolutely correct now grain boundaries act as a barrier to motion of dislocation yeah this statement is also absolutely correct because grain boundaries helps in strengthening at lower temperature at more lower temperature okay now so both a and r are true and d and uh, reason is the correct reason for a now here since you know the cobal creep cobal creep is basically related to the uh, diffusion mechanism so it is not related with the uh, dislocations so both are correct once but the reason for the increase in the creep rate is not because of this one you know the barrier to motion of dislocation it's it's it is because of the more diffusion which takes place you know so uh ha huh. so the answer will be so first let us check other options also uh, both a and r are true and r is not the correct reason for a so since both statements are true but uh, but r is not the correct reason so the answer will be this if you check this statement both a and r are false no both these statements are true a is true and r is false no this is also incorrect okay now coming to fifth question fifth question is a glass fiber of 5 micrometer diameter is subjected to a tensile stress of 20 mpa the surface energy and elastic modulus of the material are 0.3 joule per meter square and 70 gpa is the elastic modulus respectively pick up the correct answer based on the information provided above note the glass fiber contains a population of flows of different lengths so this question is little bit tricky so here since we have been given that there is a fiber of uh, of 5 micrometer diameter and this is subjected to a tensile load of 20 mpa now in the assumption part the glass fiber contains population of flows of different lengths so these are the flows now according to griffith theory this is the equation sigma f equal to 2 gamma s by pi c uh, to the power half now according to griffith theory this tells that this amount of stress is required to propagate a crack with length c okay it will be c if it is on the surface and it will be 2c if it is on the inside if it is in the inside so this amount of stress is required to move a crack of size c now suppose here the stress applied is 20 mpa so for this 20 mpa there will be a crack size so that uh, the crack will propagate so we will try to calculate uh, this crack length first of all 
to check like what is the crack length at which this 20 MPa of stress is going to uh, propagate the crack. So let us find this. So if you find then uh, from this equation C will be 2E gamma S by pi uh, this will be sigma F square. Okay. Now Now, if you calculate this, then this will come around, which I have calculated. So let me write this one. This will come around. Thirty three point four into ten power minus six meter. Okay. So here, this twenty MPa will move a crack whose size is of thirty three. 0.4 if it is on the surface and and if it is on in the inside then it will be 66.4 into 10 power minus 6 okay no sorry 66.8 now here since the diameter of this fiber is only of 5 micrometer so the maximum size of the flow which can be inside in this direction will be of 5 micrometer so since this 5 micrometer is smaller than 66.8 micrometer so this stress will not be able uh, you know it will not be able to move a crack which is present inside because all of these cracks which will be present will be of smaller size than this 66.6 so uh, this will not break actually so uh, now come to uh, uh, let us come to the options the fiber will undergo brittle fracture it's strong fiber will not go brittle fracture because uh, the crack size will be very small so that this 20 MPa will able to move this crack. Second option, the fiber will undergo plastic deformation but not fracture. Uh, this fiber will not go under plastic deformation also because this, this is a glass fiber and glass fiber is of brittle material. So this is also incorrect. The fiber will go undergo elastic deformation but not fracture this is the correct answer this will go under elastic deformation because this stress is not so high enough to you know uh, to propagate a crack inside this and that's why there will be only elastic deformation so the correct answer will be C so this is the correct answer okay thank you